Welcome back, y'all. So today, I'm gonna be dumping the codes on the Fox body um, and doing an engine balance test. So there's two different tests you can do. Uh, one is the key on engine off test. You basically turn the key on and just run the codes that way. And then you start it up and do the key on engine running test and then they'll send, sh show you codes while it's running and then once it's done with all that I'll show you how to do the en engine balance test which will tell you if one of your cylinders is not firing or getting good uh, power so in order to do this you to start out you gotta find your diagnostic connector which is right here <clears throat> right behind your driver's side shock tower it's usually if this is new it's gonna be plugged in with this Christmas tree rivet to the shock tower um, it might not, yours might not even have this cover to be connected you know if you're looking at it with the angled sides this port right here this connection you know, jump it to this gray single pin connector Okay, do not do the dark brown one, which that will fry your computer. So now we're gonna get the key. Pretty simple. It's gonna come in here. Turn the key on not run. Let's see if we get any codes. You get a code 11. Okay, so that flashed 85, which is for the smog pump. Again, 85, flashes it twice. Now, make sure you don't have your AC on and you press the clutch, start it up. It's gonna rev up. Of course, my, you really wanna do this when it's up in temperature. I, I didn't do that. I may have to let it run, warm up, and then start over, but it's idling up. So what it's doing is testing the EGR right now. It's gonna idle down. I know what these codes are. I've already done this. It's all because of the spog bomb. 
has been deleted. But. Okay. So once it's done dumping coats, you're gonna floor it to get up over 2,500, just real quick, and that'll initiate the engine balance test. It'll stay idled up around 1,500. What it's gonna do is shut off the, uh, the ejectors individually and gauge how the engine, how it runs with each one done and it's basically saying if once, if it's not running any different with the cylinder shut off, then it's saying that the cylinder's not firing right. takes a few minutes. here in just a minute. Okay, so it's at cylinder two. That off for now. <clears throat> so <clears throat> that's different than what it had done before. It did number five before. So it's telling me is I've got uh I'd already you'll see here in just a second how I pulled number five. Um inspected it, looked okay, but it looked kind of lean. So I'm I'm leaning towards the clogged injectors route. Uh, pretty unless the TFI is bad, and this new TFI, but uh, or the distributor could be. But you can check that if it's consi if it consistently goes with that cylinder. You, if you wanted to do it again, you could rev it up again, and it'll do it again. If you get the same cylinder twice, then 
what you do is you could take your spark plug wires, swap them around, swap your spark plugs around. If it moves to cylinders, moves to, moves to the, the cylinder and says, like say, it said number five. You swapped with number six, then you do it again and it says number six, then you know you got spark plug issue or a spark plug wire issue. I have a feeling it's injectors because of how clogged up the fuel tank was and had to change the fuel pumps initially when we got this car. So it's easy to change out or swap or clean injectors. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna go with, but I'm gonna pull the plug. You'll see that next, how I showed you, and we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Okay, so after the uh, balance test, went ahead and pulled the number five plug and really doesn't look too bad uh, there's some fouling around the outer edge but it looks pretty good the, the spark curve is not too far out the plug does seem to have the tip and uh, the cathode anode I don't remember but it does seem to be off center so I'm going to straighten that out but pretty much leads me down the path that it's a uh, clogged injector so that's going to be what I'm going to be doing next is pulling the intake and cleaning out the injectors so that'll probably do it for this one and until next time I'll be back